With me here, we're going to be joined by the senior PR of Ministry of Health, Mr. Aineviona Emmanuel, to give us more light on what the health ministry is doing to curb this deadly virus. Thank you for having me, and good, good morning, good afternoon, viewers. Yes. Yes, uh, Emmanuel Aineviona has been introduced. I work as a spokesperson of the Ministry of Health. Yes. The Ministry of Health is working as part of the National Task Force that was established under the office of the Prime Minister yes. to the response of the COVID-19. As a ministry, we are charged with ensuring that there is no spread of this virus. Okay, thank you, sir, for that information. We are inquiring on the procedure used to get the donations to get to the task force that was put there from the office of the Prime Minister. How is the procedure like? Thank you very much. I would want to begin by appreciating all that have supported the effort uh, towards COVID-19 response. Yes. Or the office of the Prime Minister who is heading the National Task Force has set up an account number where any financial contributions and also a team yes. to handle all uh, contributions coming out uh, to the National Task Force. However, some entities initially had also brought commodities here at the Ministry of Health, which we shall declare uh, in totality to the National Task Force. So uh, everything is coming towards this response, is going to the National Task Force, and we promise that this will be efficiently used and there will be a accountability at the end of this response. Yes, thank you so much. As we conclude, I've seen, as I entered, I saw a number of motorcycles that are lined up here at the health ministry, are they going to be used to help curb down this virus? We already have a number of deployed motorcycles. Yes. However, those other ones you can see there are for another purpose. We were planning to have a distribution, a nationwide distribution of insecticide treated mosquito nets, about 26 million. And uh, that exercise, because of this current epidemic, that has led to this current situation, that exercise has been suspended. My appeal to the population is that they need to heed to the presidential directives and also heed to the guidelines and measures that are being put out by the health ministry. The main preventive measures include hand washing, regularly using soap and water, and also sanitizing, also there is also covering your mouth and nose with a face mask in case you have flu-like symptoms and ensuring that you avoid touching your, your eyes, nose and mouth, which are the soft spots where the virus can spread. We appeal to the people to stay home and keep safe. Thank you so much. That is the senior PRO of Ministry of Health. You've had what the ministry has in stock for you. Ugandans, please stay safe and let's fight this deadly virus together for God and my country.